Hello, welcome to MOFA News, your most reliable source of Korean public diplomacy news. I'm Lee Soo Kyung from Public Diplomacy Division, MOFA. The Republic of Korea attended 2021 OECD meeting of the Council at ministerial level, which was held virtually during May 31st to June 1st, to discuss measures to strengthen international cooperation and recover from the COVID-19 crisis and push forward green and inclusive growth. As vice chair of this meeting, Korean Deputy Prime Minister Hong Nam Gi delivered opening remarks at the opening ceremony and proposed a future direction for international cooperation with three key words. First, he emphasized resilience as it is important to strengthen resilience in global value chain, multilateralism, and international mobility. Second, he stressed inclusiveness to highlight the need to bridge the gap between countries and between groups. The third keyword was innovation to prepare for the structural transition to digital and green economy in the post-COVID-19 era. On the second day of the meeting, Deputy Minister for Economic Affairs of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Lee Sang-ho, congratulated the inauguration of new Secretary General Matthias Corman and reiterated the key roles of the OECD for the future. Deputy Minister Lee proposed areas for the OECD to focus on, which includes support for transition to a resilient digital economy, implementation of concrete and practical projects to curb climate change, and consideration of inclusive growth to cope with socioeconomic transformation. He also highlighted the role of Korea in reaching these goals. On the occasion of celebrating the 60th anniversary, of the establishment of the OECD, this meeting provided an opportunity to look back at the efforts of the OECD and its member countries to tackle COVID-19 crisis and share views on the future direction to cope with socio-economic changes, including digital transformation and climate change. And this is MOFA News. Thank you.